Hi viewers. So today uh, I bring up with uh, some simple concept. Uh, it's not a complicated one. So to the three minutes of tutorial. So uh, here uh, I have an uh, action link. So this will generate me the HTML anchor tag uh, like this. So so if you see here, it will generate the anchor tag and uh, home slash about. So uh, here what I did is. Uh, I uh, I mentioned an uh, action link and I just mentioned then uh, action name but I didn't men uh, mention the controller name but here see uh, it's form like uh, uh, slash home slash about home is actually the controller so this is the controller which default uh, for the index so I am in index of the home in, uh, home controller so I don't need to mention the controller name so uh, uh, so now I able to generate the link it will automatically suggest me and uh, the home controller yes default uh, it's redirect see now I have uh, another requirement see mm, I have uh, the action in a different uh, uh, folder so here example yes here I want to uh, redirect to my page uh, to login uh, in a account controller so how to do uh, these are topics that I going to show you because uh, see normally if you mention directly login it won't redirect because uh, it will check the views under the controller but it is not really so you need to redirect now uh, to the different controller so you need to go and find it with a different controller so how to do that one it's very simple so action link will accept one more parameter so uh, if you keep the comma you will be able to see this so uh, it is asking for the root value uh, but we, we are not going to pass the root value instead of that uh, here we will uh, mention the controller name and again uh, just comma so now you able to uh, see uh, the HTML attributes so if you uh, just mention so normally action uh, link uh, won't uh, uh, tell you that uh, to see if you normally if you mouse over uh, you can able to uh, see from the HTML helper uh, the link text action name and the control name if you try to uh, do uh, the things like a command uh, you want to pass the parameter you won't normally get it so for that you need to just uh, go and uh, check for the, uh, your uh, options so it is a third of uh, tenth uh, the uh, current version MVC5 I'm using so uh, if you check for from the MVC5 and uh, f uh, I think from the previous version uh, 4 of 10 you will find that uh, it will uh, it may accept a link text action name and the controller name so like that you can go and uh, check all the options whatever options you can pass so uh, I just uh, mention as account and here action name I mention as login and the link text obviously uh, you need to tell that something like mm, sign in something yep so yes you go on the again refresh the page okay let me go to the home page so sign in you you able to see now account slash login and then I try to click it will take me to the login page yes it's text me to the login page this is what the view that I have uh, in an account controller so account it's redirecting my controller so it's a uh, very simple uh, so you can check the options of the action link so every time if you try to do something go through all the options that uh, normally provides from the tool uh, tools in a sense the DLL uh, MVC DLL so uh, this uh, HTML helper it will it ha it's uh, keep upgrading uh, if every versions you need to uh, try to compare with the older versions what uh, is been improved for uh, from the previous version so that will help really helpful to use lot of uh, easy features uh, that uh, you must know that uh, always you need to so thanks for watching the video guys Hopes it's uh, it's very simple tutorial, but it uh, very useful for some people who really uh, not understand the concepts. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please subscribe our channel if you're not subscribed before.